Imagine we're in a dark room, trapped. We need a way to get out. Suddenly, a key appears. What do we do with the key? Oh, yeah. We could use it to unlock this door. And, ah, we escaped. This reminds me of a story from the Bible about someone who realized he could do something great to help people escape too. We talked last week about Moses, whose mother put him in a basket in the river as a baby. The princess of Egypt, Pharaoh's daughter, found him in the basket and saved him and let him live in the palace. Moses' people, the Israelites, were slaves in Egypt, and even though Moses was one of them, he was allowed to live in the palace. Moses felt bad for the people who were slaves, and he saw how badly the Egyptians treated them. One day, Moses left Egypt and went to a new town. He got married and settled down in his new place. One day, when he was out in the desert with a flock of sheep, he saw something strange and amazing. He saw a bush that was on fire, but instead of the fire spreading or dying out, it just kept burning and burning and burning. He saw an angel of God appear to him from the burning bush, and he heard a voice calling out his name. Moses, Moses, here I am, said Moses. Then he heard, don't come any closer. Take off your sandals. This ground is special. Moses took off his shoes. He realized God was talking to him through the burning bush. God told Moses he was going to lead his people, the Israelites, out of slavery in Egypt. God didn't like the way the Israelites were being treated and wanted to rescue them. He had an escape plan, and he was going to use Moses to carry out his plan. Moses was scared and didn't think he could do it. God reminded Moses that we would never be alone. Moses asked God, what if they don't believe me? God did something really cool to show Moses how powerful he was. He told Moses to throw his walking stick on the ground, and God made it turn into a snake. When Moses picked it up, it turned back into a walking stick. God did something else that was really amazing. When Moses put his hand in his coat and took it back out, it had sores all over it. Then he put it in his coat and took it back out again, and it was normal again. Moses was still nervous. He didn't think he could speak well enough to do such a big job. God promised to help Moses. So Moses obeyed God and headed back to Egypt. We'll hear more next week to see how God used Moses to help his people escape from Egypt. God promised Moses to be with him. God also promises to help us. God can help you do great things.